Let's work now on part A of the fourth question in our final exam of last April 29-2014, a body plots question. It reads, draw the magnitude and the phase plots for the following transfer function, 100s plus 100 divided by s squared plus 0.11s plus 10. The first thing we notice is that we can factor out 100 from the numerator and 0.01 from the denominator. We combine those factors and write a nicer expression down here. We can see two things so far. First, that there is neither a zero nor a pole at zero. Second, that there is a single zero at one radians per second. What about the denominator? Is this quadratic polynomial an indication of a pair of complex conjugate poles at the square root of a thousand? Or merely the product of the terms of two simple poles? How can we be sure? Well, find the roots of the polynomial equation ruled by the denominator. In the HP50G, we enter a vector with the coefficients of the quadratic polynomial 1, 11, 1000, and the issue the command P root. We see that it has two complex conjugate roots. The function has a complex conjugate set of poles at uh, where? And the square root of a thousand. Yes, at omega naught, 31.6 radians per sec. What is the associated damping factor, zeta? 11 divided by twice omega naught, 0.17. We are ready to start. Because there is neither a zero nor a pole at zero, the amplitude plot enters from the left as a horizontal line with a value found from evaluating the 20 log of the absolute value of the function evaluated at s equal j zero. That is 20 log of 10,000 divided by 1,000. That is um, 20 log of 10, which is uh, 20, 20 decibels. That is the initial value of the curve on the left, 20 decibels. At omega 1 radians per second, uh, those 20 decibels per decade finds uh, a single zero, a simple zero, and starts to climb up with a slope of positive 20 decibels per decade, up to the double complex pole at omega naught, 31.6 radians per second, which is contributing with a negative slope of negative 40 decibels per decade. So, the curve takes a dive with a salient slope of negative 20 decibels per decade. Let's find the value of the approximation at the corners. From 1 to 31.6, there are exactly one and a half decades. The rate of climb, 20 decibel per decade, adds 1.5 times 20, that is 30 decibels to the curve's value. By the time it reaches the corner of 31.6, its value is 20 plus 30, 50 decibels. I always find it reassuring to compare my approximate or asymptotic plot against the actual amplitude one, just to see how accurate the body plot I found really is. Here, you can see them both. In red, the exact one and in blue, the body plot that we just found. Pretty good, I would say. Up to this point, we have half the parte of the question.
Let's go with the other half, the phase body plot. For that, I would use the method of Professor Martini, taken from the notes of Professor Bernal. This powerful method is explained in detail in my previous video, first and last tutorial on body plots, and it far exceeds the accuracy of common methods outlined in textbooks. The zero at one introduces two corners, one at 0 0.1 that adds a slope of 45 degrees per decade, and one at 10 that adds a slope of negative 45 degrees per decade. The complex pair of poles also adds two corners, one at 10 to the negative zeta times omega naught, that is zeta decades below omega naught, which is 21.2 radians per second that adds a slope of negative 90 divided by zeta degrees per decade below omega naught. Negative 517 degrees per decade, that is, the slope of contribution. And another corner at 10 to the positive zeta times omega naught with opposite slope contribution, 31.6 radians per second, right? With plus 517 degrees per decade. We are ready to plot. The phase plot always enters as a horizontal line, but because there is no zero or pole at zero, it enters with a value of zero degrees. And the first corner, 0 0.1, it starts to climb up with a slope of 45 degrees per decade up to 10, where the negative slope contribution flats the plot up to the next corner at 21.2, where it takes a steep dive of negative 517 degrees per decade down to the last corner at 47.2 radians per second, in which it flats out again. Let's compute the corner values. It starts at zero, as we said, zero degrees. It climbs up for two decades with this slope, 45 degrees per decade, and that is 90 degrees of climb up. So the value up here at this plateau is 90 degrees. The steep dive lasts for 0 0.35 decades, that is 2 times zeta, at a rate of 517 degrees per decade. The drop is 180 degrees, so the exit value is negative 90 degrees. As usual with me, I like comparing this uh, Martini Bernal approximated body plot with the exact one. Here you see them both. You can see how close the approximate one is to the exact one. I invite the viewer to replace the Martini Bernal plot with the one suggested by your textbook and see how inaccurate your book's method is when compared against the exact curve. And that takes care of part A of question 4. I hope to meet you again in the following video on part B of the same question 4. Thank you very much.